what well, people glad for soon to come back welcome back to my channel it's a girl lindsay and you don't know how we do it over here we slay and save a ball and a budget first of all don't forget to subscribe and like this video now as you can see we're doing it big bold and beautiful now let's go so i'm starting out with this dome cap it's just a regular dome cap i got from a beauty supply store and i'm just showing you how i'm going to line it up on a mannequin head where the two seams are i'm just going to put it at the front now you can use a men or women's dome cap me personally prefer the men's anyway so that's how i line it up and the hair that i'll be using is the outre big beautiful hair purple pack in 4c coily and i'm going to be using color number one and it does come in 1b and other colors as well now i'm also going to be using my glue gun i got this glue gun from walmart i think it was like three dollars maybe ten dollars but i'm going to be showing you the hair it comes in like four bundles and it's a one pack solution and i mean it's pretty soft and this hair cost about maybe 23 dollars so now i'm just unraveling it one bundle and showing you how it is and one pack trust me is more than enough so now what we're going to do we're going to just start from the back now me personally i do not like to glue on the elastic band as you saw i'm showing you that i'm going to be starting my first track above the elastic band because later in the video i'm going to show you how i remove my elastic band so that's how you see me doing i just kind of just measuring it up right there and then i'm going to take my scissors and just cut please cut away from yourself not toward yourself i don't want anybody stabbing themselves then i just want to make sure i line it up properly then i'm going in with my glue gun honestly i prefer using my hot glue gun over the you know the black beauty supply store hair glue because it's less messy in my opinion and i've been doing this for a while and it dries really really fast the hot glue gun and it's clear and it's just neater to me you know and it 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 holds really really well it holds so much better and i personally prefer putting the glue on the cap instead of the track and just positioning the track on the cap because it's less messy i've done it before where i put the glue on the track and it's just ugh. so this is how i do it and i just take my time you know because it dries really really fast i just go section by section with the glue and hold it down please be careful not to burn yourself you see me just doing that hand motion because it dries basically instantly and i kind of pull on it and i do the egg girl thing if anybody try to pull off my track and it stayed pretty well so now um here's this fun thing that i learned a couple years ago i like to flip my wigs inside out and glue maybe one or two tracks on the inside because sometimes well most times when i'm wearing my wigs i don't do a leave out at the back so just in case maybe you know i Put up my hair in like a low bun or something you know it doesn't look obvious that is a you know wig or too obvious so i'm just going to do the same thing and glue above the elastic band as you can see me showing you right there because i'm going to show you later in the video as well when i hold up the hair you can see what i'm talking about so i'm just going to do the same thing with the glue gun and just put i don't think i did more than two tracks over the elastic band i just you know i discovered this method a couple years ago from uh from another youtuber i'm sure a lot of you guys know her pete mill one of my absolute favorite youtubers her wig game is crazy and ever since she showed us how to do that method i never looked back since i thought it was genius you know especially if you're not comfortable with leave out because i remember when i used to do sewings and i had leave outs at the back and this was when my hair was relaxed and it used to make like the back of my hair super like break off and you know we want to have as little leave out as possible so there i'm just showing you how it looks when i flip up the hair so now that i flip it up and i'm like satisfied remember we're going to be cutting off the elastic band i'm just going to flip it over again on the right side and continue with the rest of the tracks okay so now with for these tracks and for the rest of them that i'm going to do i'm going to start by positioning it from seam to seam so you see how the wig cap has those two seams going back those will be my markers see i'm showing you how i'm doing it at the front because i'm going to be using that point to you know cut out later in the video so i'm starting the glue where the 
seams where the seam starts and then i'm going to go around call it around the world around the head keep going then i'm just going to go all the way to the other seam now you can do this from the first track honestly i usually do the first track i did i guys i don't know why i started that one so short but i mean it's at the back of your head nobody's going to see it anyways but you know by doing it this way um kind of doing it so close it makes the hair fall nicely around your face you know if you want to go for that framed face finish as well and then if you have little leave out it just kind of make it fall in a way where it's not so obvious that you know you know it just hides that little leave out well if you get what i'm saying for all my wig wearers out there you know what i'm talking about you know when the hair just have that fall so you see how i'm doing it now it just kind of going from like where those where the wig cap starts kind of like where your brow bone is and then i'm just going to keep doing the same thing for each track and then remember guys key key point that i should tell you guys and i've made this mistake already is when you are positioning the tracks where you want to start say because where i have those tracks starting you know remember i'm going to be cutting in the middle to do the u part please try to do it as narrow as possible because when you cut the u the wig is going to get wider remember the goal is to have as little leave out as possible and then when you cut the u it's going to make it wider yet so you don't want to leave a big space even if you leave something just a tiny bit bigger than a slit as you leave out you're fine because it's going to spread so just follow me now as i go around the wig cap and then as i go with the tracks another point that i should tell you guys when you're going at the back of your head you can spread out the tracks wider because it's your head back nobody going to see your head back your main focus is to make sure the front looks okay you know what i mean so you can have the tracks at the back spread out wider and as you get closer to the top then you start bringing them closer together especially if this is maybe your first time making a wig and you're not a hundred percent sure maybe you don't have enough hair maybe you don't you know you're not too confident in doing it this allows you to make sure like okay you didn't waste hair at the back and if you need extra hair you use it more so at the front just to cover camouflage any mistake or if you have any spaces so you see me showing you the little piece that i have left out with my finger right i just leave out a little bit you see how much little bit i leave out just a little bit right there and it positioned the wig cap the seams over your mannequin head nose and you can also do this on your head as well so you see me getting almost to the top of my wig i'm going closer with my tracks now i mean if you have a great supplier here in finite amount of hair and you're not worried about saving hair or maybe spaces in your hair then i mean you can go close from top to bottom but me personally i just want to make sure i'm using the hair as it's so a word what, what, what efficiently i guess as possible so now that's how much here that i have going so far i think this was about mm, three out of the four bundles so it's pretty full you know pretty full and then i just have that circle left at the top of the head and remember said this is not gonna go at the top of your head that's just going to go really like at your head back so now i'm just taking the last bundle and then i'm going to go uh, in a circle so we're closing in on the circle right there so you just use your glue gun and form that circle shape until it gets smaller then i'm gonna show you what we do as it gets smaller okay so now that we're closing in on the circle we can just grab our track here and just go up like a staircase you see me showing you just as a staircase so i'm going to measure it cut the track and then I'm just going to lay it straight across from this point on. And then it can close the gap. No, you might be worried or you might be saying, oh, Lindsay, my track's going to show. One, this is going to be at the back of your head. Two, when we come out this hair, it's going to be pretty big and your tracks aren't going to show. When you have enough hair, your tracks aren't going to show. And by the time we're finished um, positioning the tracks and everything, they're going to be hidden pretty well. So we just go up one after the other. So when we're finished with that, now we can cut out the U. Now I am just holding it right there. That's all I had left. And I'm just going to cut. Please don't cut the track. 
cut alongside the tracks and just in that u motion now i mean if you have a slit left you know i could have cut it straight up and left it like that as a slit but i just wanted to just cut out the extra cloth that i had left and then i'm just cutting that little extra piece and then voila blood my concentrate hard with the scissors you know <laughs> all right so that's how much we have left so now i realize that i had a little bit of space left at the front above the elastic band so i had a little bit of hair left so i'm just going to glue an extra track under there just so you know make it nice and neat so now we're going to be cutting away the elastic band so you can just cut along like under the track and it will be when you're finished with the wig you'll see what i'm saying when you have it just cut directly under the track it will come off pretty well and no it won't like unravel the dome cap or anything it was pretty awkward trying to film and cut and try not to cut myself but i tried my best guys to show you but when you make the wig you'll see what i mean and then there should be another elastic band at the back of your head in between those tracks that we used you just cut it off same like we did with the ones at the side so then that's how it looks when we cut the cut the elastic band it was pretty neat because i cut directly under the track and then i went ahead and i added some wig clips now you don't have to add wig clips if you don't want to you can sew it on your wig you can secure it with bobby pins but i just wanted to add some clips just to make it you know easy that's the braiding pattern i use and that's um the leave out that i have you can corner your hair as well but i just couldn't bother <laughs> so now we're just going to secure the wig i really want to see how it look see if i'm happy with the amount of leave out i have left and the leave out i had honestly that god you see i'm have to put on my glasses guys i am my vision is so terrible i had to put on my glasses just to see in the mirror <laughs> anyway so now i'm just securing the wig it fit perfectly on my head this dome cap that i use is one size fits all so it it was pretty good it fit pretty snug and pretty well i was pretty comfortable with it on my head so and i know some people when they're doing a you part wig they like to do anchor braids for the two wig clips that are around the leave out at the top but i mean this wig i didn't really want anchor braids you don't have to if you don't want to but you can just itch it in or use bobby pins so now we going with our leave out so i'm just going to separate the leave out spray it with some water glasses in the way again separate the leave out at the side and then i'm going to be taking my mousse after i spray it with some water and just try to blend my leave out with the wig using just the water and mousse combination now i really did like this hair from my hair type i don't know how true to 4c it really is but i mean it 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 did the job i really you know i really do love this hair especially for the price you know i want to think something quick and nice and easy i was pretty impressed with this hair so when i'm done now with my leave out i'm just going to spray the hair and then i'm going to use my big paddle brush and brush it out now when i brushed out this hair i was like okay all right now i see because i mean you'd think i realize but i realize eventually all right guys so on a finish brushing we're just going to grab our scissors and shape up the hair and yes we are done you see me just kind of pretending i have a beyonce fan breeze thing going on and just showing you guys what the hair looks like with our leave out so guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and follow me on all socials instagram twitter and tiktok at underscore underscore lindsay Beth. i appreciate you guys so much for watching oh this is how the hair looks by the way at the back and this is how the hair looks to the side you can put this center part left right side whichever way this hair is so fun and versatile so i'll see you guys in the next video till next time bye